I'm Valerie and today we're going to create this super cool wavy text animation it is very easy to create it's a, basically one precomp with a letter letter in it and uh, to achieve the wavy and stretch text effect uh, we will use three simple effects first one is a CC scale wipe to make the text stretched then we will use the wave warp effect to make the, the text uh, move in a wavy motion and uh, then we will add a gradient ramp effect to color the text and we will also add a stroke, uh, a layer style to create the stroke and we will add a position animation for each precomp that we will uh, duplicate of course later uh, yeah, and then we'll just offset a, a little bit the keyframes to create a much interesting uh, look and that's going to look something like this so let's get started <laughs> So first let's create our first composition, let's call it Master Comp, we'll work on a Full HD format with a 30 frames per second and 20 seconds the duration and let's pick a black color for the background and press OK. Now uh, let's select the text tool and write the first letter of the, our word. In our case, we want to create the word flow, so we need to create uh, the first letter, which is F. And now, let's double click on it and uh, go to character and pick some condensed font. So I used a uh, anybody font, a font called anybody, and I'll pick the ultra condensed font. If you don't have this font, you can find the link in the descriptions. It's a free font from uh, Google Fonts, so go and download and install it. I will choose the black weight. Now I'll click here to make the letter caps in caps. I'll color it in white and I'll set the size to 600. Uh, make sure you go to paragraph and center this uh, text. And now we need to align it uh, horizontally in the frame and uh, in the top at the top of this of the precom of the comp. This is going to help us to create the effect later on. All right. After it, we need to precompose this uh, letter. So let's right click. Go to pre-compose and let's name it text1. Make sure both are selected and press OK. Now we need to enter this pre-comp and um, get rid of the empty space here. So let's press Ctrl K to enter the composition settings. And now uh, let's scale down the uh, width but not too much because let's Let's leave it in on 500 because sometimes maybe you want to create a different letter. So, for example, a W. So you need uh, to uh, to leave a place here uh, for for a bigger letters like the letter R and stuff like this. All right, and so now click OK. Go back to master comp and let's uh, start to create the effect. So the first effect we will add is an effect called CC Scale Wipe. All right. So add it onto this precomp. Let's set the stretch uh, amount to five. And now uh, to see what we are doing, we need to place this effect, the point of this effect, in the right place. Uh, in this case, we need to place it here, and to make the text go down we need to change the direction you see here to uh, 180 degrees uh, yeah and now if you want to make the stretch less or more so adjust this uh, value here so i will leave it uh, i will set it to 280 next we'll add a wave warp effect so let's search it and add it to our precomp 
uh, let's set uh, the wave height to 50 and the width to be a big number because we want a big a big wave not small wave so let's set it to 250 for now and uh, for the direction this time we also need to set it to 180 and uh, the speed uh, right now is uh, kind of fast for me if I press uh, the spacebar you'll see it's kind of fast so I prefer to set it at the speed to 0 0.5 and uh, a very important thing is to set the pinning uh, property to top edge this will make the text stay still at the upper part and uh, all the uh, rest of the text will move like this so it's look uh, much better great and now we need to add a, a gradient a ramp effect on it to color the text so let's color it a the first color will be a bright color and the bottom one will be some uh, darker darker color something like this yeah and now let's just uh, bring the points of the gradient ramp uh, this one here and this one here like that now if i turn on the transparency background uh, you'll see that we don't have the stroke uh, yet so let's add a, a, a stroke for this we need to right click on this layer go to layer styles and add a stroke now we can uh, enter the stroke effect and uh, set it to black like this yeah and with this we have finished to create the effect and now we need to duplicate this precomp a few times but of course we don't need to duplicate it from here because if I'll do don't do it uh, with me I just want to show you uh, I'll duplicate it from here using ctrl D and I'll move it here and now let's say I want to change the letter here to uh, L and I go back to the master comp it will be changed to both of the pre comps so this is not what I need so I'll press ctrl Z a few times and uh, to, to make it right we need to duplicate this pre comp from the project panel all right to create an entire new pre comp so let's select it and press Ctrl D. Now we can enter this precomp and uh, double click on it and change the letter to L. Now let's go back to master comp and uh, select the selection tool. And now if I bring this letter, this precomp to, to our master comp, of course there is no effects on this precomp because we didn't edit an effect on, on, on this one so to maintain the same effects we did for this precomp now we need to duplicate uh, this precomp uh, from the layer panels so let's do it let's move it uh, here and now we need to replace this precomp with this one and to do it we can uh, hold down the alt key on the Mac it's an option key and now just drag this new precomp on this one and it's going to change between the precomps but uh, it will remain all the effects that we used in this one great and now let's make this the same process a few more times so let's duplicate it from here enter it and change the letter to O let's just make sure this letter you know aligned to the top we can go back to master comp and now we need to duplicate uh, this pre comp from here uh, let's select the selection tool we can move it here and now we need to replace between them using alt and dragging the new pre comp on onto the old one yeah and let's do it one more time
great and now I want uh, to adjust uh, the position of this uh, the letters so I'll uh, turn off the transparency background first and I'll turn on the title action save and uh, yeah I will select this pre-comp the first one and I'll move it uh, here all right I will turn off the snapping function so I can move it uh, freely yeah and now I will move this one here and I'll put it and I'll place it uh, down here and now I will do the same for this one and for this one great yeah like this maybe we can move it here a little bit yeah and just make sure it's in the center like this now we can uh, press the P key to animate this precomps so uh, let's set the first keyframe with this value and move uh, to second number two and uh, let's use the arrow keys to bring these layers down like this now let's go to the four, second number four and bring this layer up and let's make it a few more times great and now let's just select those layers and uh, those keyframes and uh, right click go to keyframe assist and, and convert them to easy ease yeah and now, and now uh, we can uh, offset the animation a little bit so we can select these keyframes and move them let's say uh, two frames forward and this one now this one select this ones and move two frames forward and the last one two frames forward yeah and all right and now to randomize the motion and the look in the scene we can uh, change a few uh, properties in the effect uh, in the wave warp effect so let's say uh, this pre-comp will be with the uh, 250 in width and uh, with speed of uh, 0.5 and this one will be 200 in width and the speed will be 1 right so this one we will leave as it is and this one we will change as we change the second one so 200 in the width and the one in the speed yeah, and it's going to create a great and to randomize the look of the letters of course uh, we can just uh, let's say we can swap the colors so the second one will be you know the darker color will be here or you can change the entire colors as you wish but uh, I think this looks uh, all right and now to finish uh, things up uh, we can create a new adjustment layer and add a posterized time effect and set the effect the frame rate to 12 so it will look a uh, in a more choppy way in a more choppy motion uh, and we're done with this uh, effect let's just uh, bring the workflow area here to the end of this uh, animation using the N key and now we can see uh, what we've done so far yeah it looks great and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial guys and I see you in the next one.